J SB Oh yeah Cameron GC What's up? This is Kerry Adderley with gymnasticsville.com. Jim Crew LLC, Jim Crew Acrobatic Consultants. We're here at the Victor Oladipo basketball camp in Oklahoma City, getting ready to speak to the kids, shed a lot of positivity about life, listening to your parents, listening to your coaches, and going out there and doing the best you can in your life. You're ready to roll. Let's go. We have Kerry Adderley. He's a two time Big Ten champion. Play for Ohio State. Big time champion from Ohio State. And he's also a three time NCAA tournament runner up. So that means he played to the tournament three times. NCAA tournament three times, three appearances. And also, he's a former Harlem Globetrotter. Former Harlem Globetrotter. Right now, he does halftime shows for the OKC Thunder and he or orchestrates everything. So I want us to put our hands together and get a warm round of applause for Kerry Adderley. Hey. 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 What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? Yeah. Good? Nice, man. I'm saying y'all warmed up. Y'all seem like y'all kind of ready to roll. Well, my name is Kerry Adderley. Uh, I work for the Oklahoma City Thunder currently as a fan interaction specialist. But before I got to this point, I was a gymnast and actually a basketball player. I started playing basketball probably when I was five, six years old. It was my first sport growing up in my neighborhood. I grew up in Orlando, Florida. And from there, I was in the Junior Magic. You know, I played the same thing that the AAU leagues all up until the same time I was doing gymnastics. And after I realized I was a little shorter than most <laughs> basketball players, uh, I decided that I should go into another avenue if I wanted to go professional in, in some sport. But the main reason I was able to make that decision was because I listened to my parents, I listened to my coaches, and my mentors around me to help me formulate what I wanted to do in my life, you know? You guys are very young right now and you got a lot of life to live moving forward, especially starting from right now at this camp. A lot of y'all might go and do amazing things just from coming from this camp here with Victor Oladipo. So the main thing I wanted to really touch on today was being a positive influence and being a positive person as you're going out every day when you're going to school, whether you're in summer camps, whether you're doing multiple sports, being a good teammate, you know, to your friends, not letting them make bad decisions and hopefully they'll do the same for you. Uh, helping each other study, making sure you guys are all getting good grades in school because if you can't get good grades, you can't go out and play on the basketball court, right? I'm sure everybody knows their parents said that at one point or whatever sport may be. Uh, also, um, growing up and getting good grades while you're at this age right now, that's going to help you be able to get, obviously, good testing scores. And after you test well, then you can hopefully, you know, uh, with a lot of hard work, you guys will be able to get to college. You know, that was one of the biggest things in my life. Uh, going to the Ohio State University. I was a varsity gymnast there, uh, two-time Big Ten champion, uh, three-time NCAA runner-up in gymnastics for the Ohio State Buckeyes. And from there, I always had my first love, which was basketball. And I always wanted to figure out how I was gonna be able to get back into basketball, even though I left at such a young age. Well. After I left Ohio State University, I, I was fortunate enough to get my first gig in basketball working for the Philadelphia 76ers as a dunk team member. I'm sure, I don't know if you guys see the Storm Chasers. Who here is here, local? everybody's from OKC here? Yeah. Everybody? So y'all know, y'all see the Storm Chasers go out there and they dunk it. 
Well, I, I did that for the Oklahoma, um, sorry, for the Philadelphia 76ers. And then from there, I was fortunate enough to get an uh, opportunity to work for a big entertainment company called Cirque du Soleil. Has anybody ever seen a, a Cirque du Soleil show? No? A few of you guys? Did y'all see the one that came here not too long ago? I did, yeah, you did? In the yeah, and they were like all the bugs and stuff. So I performed in a show like that in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I was a tumbler, I was a trampolinist, I was an aerialist. Um, but I wouldn't have been able to achieve that goal or even have the opportunity had I not gotten good grades and been able to listen to my family members, my, my mentors, my coaches on the right and wrong things to do while you're making your decisions at a young age. Uh, and then as, after my career in CERT, uh, I actually got an opportunity, uh, another great opportunity was afforded to me to work in the NBA on a full-time professional level. Uh, and that was my first gig from leaving Las Vegas, moving to Phoenix, Arizona, uh, and working with their program and their entertainment program uh, for the Phoenix Suns. And after that, shortly after that, it didn't take long, they were looking at me to come here and work with their big entertainment program uh, here in Oklahoma City Thunder. So, after all said and done, I have to give all my praise first, you know, in my faith in God. And then also, I had to make sure I wasn't getting in trouble. I was getting good sleep. You know, a lot, a lot of y'all stay up over the summertime. You want to be up all night? No. You got to make sure you get to bed. Get good sleep so you can wake up and so your mind can be active for the next day. All right? Making sure you're eating healthy, you know, drinking plenty of water. Cut out. Who out here drinks soda every day, all day? Yeah. Yeah. Cut out all that soda. Okay? Got to be drinking plenty of water. Making sure you're eating your vegetables, eating your fruit, and, and proteins as, uh, as needed. Um, and right now, since you guys kind of know a little bit about me and my background, um, I wanted to open it up if you guys had any questions for me regarding my professional career and uh, things I'm doing now and maybe you guys need some advice moving forward. The first move I ever perfected in basketball or in, in, in acrobat in basketball? First move I ever perfected. I would have to say since I was smaller playing basketball, I played point guard in my league when I was in uh, AAU and my first step was my best move because bigger defenders you know they can spread out and they can stop you from going past you so you had to have a good jab step and then either fake and take that first step the other way so you can try to at least have a little hesitation to uh get them off off their mark all right here uh, let's go ahead right here selfie how many years How many years have I been an acrobat? So I started gymnastics when I was eight years old. So now I've gone clear over 25 years of acrobatic uh, discipline in gymnastics. I did 20 years of strict gymnastics leading up to the 2008 Olympics. And then after that, I switched over to uh, entertainment. Here, let's go to this side. What you got? Can I do some more tricks? Can I do some more tricks? I think I'm all out of <laughs> I might do one more thing before I leave. Before I leave, I might do one more thing. One more. All right. Have you ever been injured while doing a trick? That's a good point. He said, he asked me, have I ever been injured? And yes, I've been injured. I've had three surgeries. I've had surgery on this shoulder. I've had a surgery on this shoulder. I've had an ankle surgery. I've had ruptured discs. I've had bruised bones, contusions. Uh, concussions, uh, the list goes on. I've had many injuries. But actually, I kind of want to touch on that because I know that's probably something that a lot of you are, are battling right now. Who's right now battling an injury, a sprained ankle, a knee? Raise your hand. Your back. Who's up? Um, a good amount of people. And so for me, uh, that's a big part of your athletic careers. You gotta learn how to manage your injuries. 
And a big part of that goes back to what I was talking about earlier, getting good rest. Rest helps your body heal. Eating properly, the right foods, the right foods you eat in your body or take in your body helps your body heal. And it also, the main thing is water. Plenty of water. That also helps keep your immune system strong, keeps your body healthy so you can hopefully fight off any bad cramps and spasms. Why didn't you go professional? Why did not? Why did not go professional in basketball? Because I just was, couldn't make the cut. <laughs> that simple. Uh, in college or going into college, I actually got a full scholarship with gymnastics to go to Ohio State University. So when I was in high school, I had to make a decision: what sport was I going to excel at? Because I played, I did gymnastics and I played basketball. And at my high school, Dr. Phillips High School in Orlando, competition was tough. You know, you had uh, Chance McGrady, who was Tracy McGrady's uh, little brother. You had Gerald Wilkins. He came from Dr. Phillips High School. His father's played basketball in the NBA. Um, oh man, there's actually a lot of guys that came from my high school. And it was very competitive. And they were much taller than me. So that made my decision real easy to go into uh, acrobatics to be able to get to a D1 school and, and get that same big school experience. Well, hey, uh, I think my time might be up right now. And I just wanted to say thank you guys for listening to me. I hope that you took something for what I said and uh, apply it today and moving on forward into your life. So uh, thank you all for sitting and being very great students right now and listening. I appreciate it. Come on. Alright, you want the trick? Alright, last trick. This is, my, this is one of my favorite tricks. No, this is one of my favorite tricks. It's a side flip. You ready? It's a side flip. Not in. Everybody get in for this pick. All right, on three, everybody say hold it.